In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to get more wins in Fortnite Season X. So before this video does start, please hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. It really means a lot to me. And hit that like button if you want to support me. So guys, without any further ado, let's just jump right into the video. So getting wins in Fortnite Season X can be pretty difficult because there are so many sweats in the game. And since Fortnite is still progressing, people are getting better and better at the game. So yeah, I'm just going to start from the basics. Like where do you land? Where's the best spot to go on the map? So I recommend going farthest away from the battle bus as possible because you can get all the good loot there because no one will go there. You can loot up so you have everything you need and then once you get into the later game you can start fighting people. So the first question is where do you land and well never land at the very first drop because everyone usually goes there and you can get killed very easily. Unless you are really good at the game and you want to get a bunch of kills then yeah go for it. But if you're not that great at the game definitely do not land at the first spot land far away so you can get a lot of loot so you're all ready full shield bunch of shields in your inventory good weapons so you can do good in the later game and with today's update i recommend do not land at tilted towers right now because it is the western theme you cannot build in there and you only get certain weapons and pretty much half the map does die in there within the first minute in Fortnite, which is just crazy. Alright, moving on to tip number two. What should your loadout be? Like, what should you carry? So definitely carry an AR of some sort. And please carry a combat. That is, like, the best thing you can have in your inventory. Sometimes, like, I don't even use an AR if I have a combat. I know that may sound pretty stupid, but trust me, I have one with just a combat in my inventory. And the next weapon is either some sort of explosive like an RPG or a grenade launcher, or if you're not feeling that, then carry a sniper. My personal favorite sniper is the heavy sniper because it can do a 150 body shot and a like 375 headshot. So even if people have 150 health, they are screwed if they are hit by the heavy sniper. And definitely carry minis. Max minis will save you a lot. And if you do have an extra spot, if you find slurp juices, definitely carry those. If not, med kits are the number one thing. So now what? Now that you've landed at a faraway spot, you've got a bunch of good loot, what do you do next? So obviously you need to stay out of the storm because that's Fortnite. If you're in the storm, you die. But I recommend do not go in the middle of the ring. Stay on the outskirts of the storm so that your back is completely covered and you can view the entire circle. Because if you're in the middle, you have to cover 360 and everyone is targeting you because you are in the middle of the ring and that's where everyone wants to be. So stay on the outskirts of the ring. Now what could possibly be next? Your top 10, you have no kills, that's okay, but you get into your first battle, what do you do? Obviously, please build. If you don't build, you will die 100% because everyone in Fortnite Season 9 needs to know how to build. So if you don't know how to build, uh, you're in trouble. Watch some videos on how to get better at building because definitely get the high ground when you are in a 1v1 because then your enemy will usually get scared and try and drop down. And when you drop down, you will still have the high ground and you can take them out from there and definitely use your combat when you're close range because it will destroy them and obviously aim for the head and if you do drop all the way down and you land right in front of them do not just spray your gun like there's a 50 50 chance you're either gonna die or you're gonna live so add building into that so that you are protected and you can edit and kill the other person and when you're in a battle if you get damaged be sure to use your minis even if you're like 140 health Use a mini if you're in the middle of a battle, it could save your life, trust me. I've put a mini on for 5 shield, and I went out of a battle with uh, 3 HP, so I would have died if I didn't put that mini on. And obviously, if you do kill your enemy, loot everything, grab all the shields, better weapons, because that's something very obvious that you need to do. I know this video may sound pretty basic and like, yeah, you guys all know these are the basic rules of Fortnite. But trust me, some people, this should help you guys out a bunch. And if it does help you, be sure to hit that like button, because it really does help me a lot. Alright, so say now it's top three, you are on the outside of the ring and it starts to move and you are furthest away. Well, if you have a launch pad in your inventory, definitely use it and get to the next ring. But if you don't make the rotation on the outside of the ring, and if someone starts shooting at you, be sure to start building like crazy. Once you're into the next ring, build a little one by one so you are safe. And if the final two players start getting into a battle, try and involve yourself with it too because if you can pick off one of those guys the other guy will probably be super weak and then you can probably finish him off too and always make sure you're building enough that he that your enemy cannot get a single shot on you so make sure to cover all sides around you and guys here's a really good tip do not box yourself into a one by one with a roof on it because you're pretty much screwed your enemy is going to break down your wall replace it with their wall edit and just one pump you or combat you in the head so do not put yourself in a box. 
if you do get into a box well the best thing to do is to try and edit out the back and build a double ramp up and spin around do a 180 and take the high ground back but that can be sometimes difficult because your enemy could respawn very quickly and get the high ground before you and if your enemy is very high up definitely try and break down the structure if there's not much holding it up because there's no gliders in the game anymore so if your enemy does fall he will most likely fall to his death if he is pretty high up so there you go you've taken out the final enemy and you have won your first game of fortnite season x so i hope this video did help you guys if it did be sure to drop a like on the video and please subscribe if you are new to the channel it really means a lot to me if you guys would like to gift me anything from the fortnite item shop my epic is it's parker plays that is greatly appreciated so guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.